Jonathan Darnell. I'm the uh, Fairfax 40 Days for Life uh, coordinator in Fairfax, Virginia. Uh, and this is uh, October 2nd. I think we're about a week and a half through our, our uh, campaign. And I know it's getting some notice, even though we're kind of one of the smaller campaigns still. I know it's getting some notice because that's the mill that we're, uh, we're uh, conducting the campaign at. And just today, apparently, we noticed that Fairfax City Police put this very elegant uh, surveillance device here to overwatch the entire roadway right where we are. It's got that huge tower up there that can elevate. We've got a security camera at the top. You can probably see all the way down the road and all the way back down the other side and see practically everything that's around here. Uh, I do not know why the Fairfax City Police would put this here. True, traffic does, uh, traffic does back up along this roadway on weekdays during rush hour, but I can't think that it doesn't have something to do with the fact that we're doing 40 days for life here. Uh, kind of interesting, the equipment was apparently purchased with UASI funds provided by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. So Homeland Security is making sure that everybody is safe from 40 days for life. <laughs> Uh, possibly. I just thought that was something interesting we should point out. Don't ever think that you're not making a difference. In fact, frankly, if um, forces in opposition to you take notice of what you're doing, that's good. You want the name to get out there because light will shine through eventually. Uh, even if some people call you a terrorist or call you dangerous, you know eventually the truth will come out. And uh, even bad press can sometimes bring that out. 